project sold 3 million copies worldwide. I know, and they're making into a film. And he's coming to your place for dinner. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. He's coming with his wife, Anne Bruce, who is also a best-selling author. So, uh, what, what are we going to cook for them? Well, something French, I think. French? Why French? Well, they've written a book together, which is called Two Steps Forward, which is set on the old Pilgrim's Way between uh, France and Spain. Have you read the book? I have. I loved it. Uh, so, well, what's it about? This man and this woman who, who both independently decide to walk the Camino Way. Now, they're both struggling with problems in their own lives and so they set out to find themselves and along the way they find each other. And what are they like as the main characters? They are great main characters. Martin is very mechanical and Zoe is like a zany Californian artist um, who, you know, she's always struggling along the way because she's vegan and of course she's in France where it's very hard to be a vegan. Um, so it's a real comedy of errors. It's very charming. I really loved it. So when are they coming? Tonight. I better read that book then. <laughs> You'd better get reading. <laughs>
only, you know, uh, 1,900 to go. It's right. just, you've got to really just look at each day. Oh, I think it's so impressive, you know. By the time we were finished, we were so fit. It felt great. <laughs> so, so how long did it take? 87 days. We had two days off. Seven days. Yeah. When we got to the border, which is where most people start the Camino at St Jean Peter Port, um, we had a day off. We thought we needed mm. to celebrate. Oh, it's right. almost like a metaphor for writing a book, though, actually. Mm. Because, you know, that's the only way. If you thought, I, I'm going to write a novel of 120,000 words, it can be so overwhelming if you say, Today I'm going to write a scene, today mm. I'm going to write a chapter. Yes. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, years ago, I read um, Stone Diaries by uh, Carol mm -hmm. Shield. Yeah. There's a moment in that a great book. where one of the players arrives in England from Canada, just decides he's going to leave all his possessions behind and just start walking, walk forever. And it just spoke to me at the time I read that. And as mm -hmm. soon as Anne said, it's bought the Camino. That's what I was thinking of. Yep, just nothing, no, no burns, <laughs> just, yeah. just walk. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, like. it's like one of those things we all want to do, leave all our stuff behind and go walk and no one ever does it. Yeah, well, well and, and I guess that's part of the flavour of the book of Two Steps Forward, mm -hmm. is the idea that they both think that they can do that. Mm -hmm. and, and once you're out there, you discover you really can't leave behind all of your psychological burdens. You've, yeah. you've got to do something a little bit more than that. Yeah. It's a bad You can't scene. run away. <laughs> Talk about running away, I just need to go and check our dinner. I won't be a moment. Did you see how she did that? That's it. That's that's perfect. Perfect. See, you finish your chats and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And, and did Graham write Martin and did you write Zoe? We did consider doing the opposite, but it <laughs> kind of just worked better doing it the traditional way. Yeah. And I did Zoe. And Zoe really spoke to me. I had some grieving issues I was dealing with, and even though obviously it wasn't, I wasn't a widow like her, mm. there's commonality in grief that just really made the character real. And so, yep, so I did Zoe and he did Martin. Um, and he loves doing grumpy Englishmen. <laughs> <laughs> One question I haven't had a chance to ask, and I really do want to ask, is um, how did you guys meet? It was, was back in when we were in our 20s, and you had, you know, on a Tuesday night, you had a 10 course dinner party. Mm. But out in the kitchen, my then partner and I um, were making this chocolate marquise. Well, she couldn't make it thicken. She's stirring like, man, it wouldn't thicken. And I said, well, you know, we've got one of these Kenwood chefs. You know, and I put the bowl under the Kenwood Chef, but Kenwood Chefs have got a special bowl. They do. This wasn't the special bowl. Mm. A tip for, you know, those listening at yeah. home, if you put a bowl, a regular plastic <laughs> bowl, it's not the special Kenwood Chef special bowl, it just grabs, it spins it round and splashes all the chocolate yeah. marquise all over the wall. I've done it, I've done it myself. Okay, but did you scrape the chocolate marquise off the walls? And serve it up and try it. <laughs> no, so not that <laughs> they had no yeah, idea. Yeah. I'm sure the walls were very, very clean. Um, we both then went on and got married to other people. Ooh. So we both had uh, significant lives before we sort of refound each other. So. And how did you refind each other? Well, we'd always kept being friends. Um, then when sort of the marriage was disintegrated, we were kind of the two people left standing, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so to speak. And we're looking at each other actually. Oh yeah, all right. And you know, thirty years down the track, and a couple of kids were quite all right. Yeah. That's wonderful. Anne and Graham, thank you so much for coming. We've just loved having you on the show. You've been fantastic and we love the book. So I'm afraid that it's time for us to wrap up now and say good night. So thank you so much for coming and spending time with us on Word of Mouth TV. Thank you for joining us. And if you want to enter the draw for our giveaway, just press the subscribe button at the bottom of our YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about our fantastic prizes for this week's episode or about today's recipes or all about book news, views and reviews then just go to our website at wordofmouthtv.com.au See you next See time! See you next time! <laughs>